Hey, I had a question about photo imaging resizing. So let's talk about this on this video. This is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. Let's talk about resizing an image here. So I'm going to add an image, all right? And this is my favorite platform that I use. I love it. It's so easy to create websites here. So you can add an image and you can see how it can be layered right on top, right? Now as far as resizing it, just to make it bigger or smaller, there's little dots here on the side. You can grab it and pull it wider, okay? Now, as far as site speed goes, depending on the size of the image, it can really slow it down. I would have to say for going straight across on a desktop, maybe 900 to 1000 by 400, all right? So let's get rid of this picture here. Let's go down to adding a banner and then um, putting a, a picture right on the whole banner. All right, so we have the banner here. How I did that was just simply um, add, you know, go to that plus sign and go right down to banners. There's a banner there. If you open it up, you have the option, the first one of a classic. So that's the one we're going to do. So there's one here. If you click too many times, you may see um, that there's more blue behind it. So just make sure you're only clicking once. I have a tendency definitely to click too much. So I'm going to right click. We're going to go to appearance. We are going to go to um, just a couple mentions here. I like to do full across and the reason for that is depending on the desktop it can definitely change if you add space on the on um, the side there could be more space on one desktop version than another so just be careful with that all right we're going to go ahead and we're going to add an image you just simply upload it i have images here that i've already uploaded and if you haven't i'll show you how you can upload another image so from here remember i said as far as site speed you really want to make sure that you're not uploading very large pictures and the reason for that is because it's going to slow down your site speed so when you do that um, if you don't have any images uploaded it would just simply be over here upload all right so I already have this image and it's a large image and I'm going to show you some things so one of my questions that I had gotten was you know my pictures are being cut off so here's the whole picture and um, you see that the mouse without touching it the mouse itself goes all the way down in this space behind un, below the mouse all right so we're going to choose this one you're going to get a little check mark you're going to hit confirm here it's going to go onto that banner and what we can do um, from here is just simply uh, put that on the banner I'm trying to think of my website speed okay all right so now we have the image i'm going to get rid of this and you'll see that this is on the banner. There's that white space. And again, if you want to lift up the banner, you just pull it up any way that you want. That's good. You come down below and it's being cut off. Well, maybe it's the banner below it. So we'll just pull that down. All right. And we'll pull this one because there's more, more here. We'll pull everything down here. And you'll see that there's no more banner. That The image itself is just being cut off. Well, why is that? Probably because the image is large. I don't know the size of a banner, but I can tell you that usually by eyeing it, about this much is about 100. So 100, 200, 300, 400, the notes, 500. It's probably about 600 going up and down height-wise. That's about as big as you want. Really, I would stay with like 900 to 400. But anyway, the question was, why are my images being cut off? Well. Your image definitely is cut off because like I showed you before, we know that it goes below the um, below the mouse and you just see the tip of the mouse here. So you're going to click it. When you click it, there's this little dot right here. So simply grab and pull down. And we're going to, again, have to lower everything here, lower here, the other banner. And again, click and drag down. Now when we do that, eventually it's going to start zooming in. You see that it goes up and down. And then it starts zooming, it gets bigger, like you see more pixels or whatever. It's just like a zoomed in view. So that's as much as, you know, the size of the image, right? We, we showed the mouse before with some space in between, behind it or below it. And then when you go lower, so that's as much as, you know, you want. You could take the other banner here and just start lifting it up. All right, so that there's no white space. So then the question is, do you want an image this size? Honestly, I want it. And the reason for that is because it's going to slow down my website. Doesn't matter what host it is. Having a large image like this is going to slow down your website as far as load time. And if you're running ads, it's extremely important um, to have good site speed. And even if you're not running ads, nobody wants to sit there as it's like you know twirling and all of that stuff. So you want to make sure that the load time is good. So how do we go about doing that? Well. Um, 
one of the things that I use is Canva. So let me just show you if you have a Canva. I don't know if this isn't paid or not. We're gonna, and then I'm gonna take you to another thing that you can do as far as re resizing. So here's one of my designs here. I'm gonna just upload it. This was a video that I did on, um, you know, Instagram. So here's my image that I created, and I'm just going to simply make a uh, copy of it. So go down to File and make a copy, right? It's all the way down at the bottom here. So we're gonna make a copy. And then from there, what I'm going to do is, so I like to work with the copies, not the originals, right? Is um, actually resize it. So how do you resize it? Right here, it would just be resize. And then you have right at the top here, custom dimensions. Now you wanna keep the ratio, right? Because if you don't keep the ratios, it's gonna look funky. Like sometimes the image itself gets distorted. So just roughly image like 1280. So perhaps you wanna do 640. Maybe you wanna do, um, you know, just three, three, what would be like 325, something like that. And just make sure that, and the same thing, if you're just gonna half it by 50%, you would just half the 720 and that would be like what, 350, 355, something like that, or 360, sorry, my math. So that's how you would resize the image, okay? And you could just, um, you know, just plug those numbers in and it would resize. So that's one way of doing it. And then you can just simply download it, all right? Now, if you didn't wanna use um, Canva, there's if you just go online and you just google like photo image resizer you could simply just resize it here on any of these free sites so what you would do is just upload the image it's an image here we'll upload it i don't even know the exact size of it but you see that it's um, uploaded if you don't like it you just get rid of it you can continue to edit the image itself and then it'll give you options as far as um you know, resizing it. So you can crop it, you can rotate it, you can flip it. Um, and here it is down here. Do you want to go 50% smaller? So if you did that, that would be like a 320 by 188. Depending on how big you want your images, um, again, for the or the website going all the way across like a desktop, what you would want is around 900 by 400. I think that's good as far as site speed goes. Smaller images, 300, like just, so if it's 900 going across, I think 300 would be a third of it. If you wanna go bigger, like two thirds of it, then, then do 600. But remember, the higher you go, the slower the site speed's going to go. And just make sure that it's actually pixelated for the DPI dots per inch as far as 72 or below. All right, so just let's say we're going to go right here, 720. Let's choose that. Let's get rid of this ad right here. And then I don't want any special effects at all. Uh, you could do JPEG. You could do what other options there are, um, you know, like as far as like you could do transparent. transparent. Um, so there's different types of GIF if you wanted it to be motion, like to have some motion. So I'm just going to do a JPEG. I'm done resizing my image. So when you click on it, and then what you have the option of doing is just saving it. And then um, it's going to just download it. And you'll see that it's connecting, it's processing. And there is my image right here. It's resized, it's been downloaded, all right? And so that's it as far as photo imaging resizing. Again, it, the reason why I'm showing it to you is because I had a question as far as I'm not seeing the whole image on my website, you know, when I upload it. And then on top of that, it's important to know that the reason why you're not seeing it because it's a very large image. And do you really want that large image? You probably don't. It's going to slow down site speed. So my recommendation is don't do it. But um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, it's um, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing more videos like this. It's everything about increasing your online presence. That's what the focus of this channel is. I'll see you guys on another video. Take care and have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.